What is up everyone, today we are looking at the purple tracer pack available in the store. The purple tracer pack consists of the Grau and the MP7. Today we are looking at the guns individually and combined together. We will also talk about if I think if it's worth to buy it and if these weapons together are a good combination for Warzone. But before we do that, if you like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel, it will mean a lot to me. And let's continue with the purple tracer pack. This pack is 1600 cop points and you get a Grau blueprint called the Prototype Alpha, an MP7 blueprint, Prototype Omega, a knife blueprint, a stabby crabby charm and a rare calling card. Like the name of the pack says, the Grau and MP7 will have purple tracer bullets on them so that makes these blueprints a little different than the others. Let's look at the Grau and the MP7 and after that I will give my thoughts on if you want to buy this pack or not. Let's start with the Grau. I review these weapons for Warzone normally, so I do advise to adjust some of the attachments on the Grau. I changed the barrel and swapped the tag laser. The first attachment is the monolithic suppressor. I swapped this for the tag laser. The Grau is your primary weapon in this build and it needs the extra damage range and the sound suppression to be a strong choice, so I would highly suggest doing this as well. Next up, I changed the Nexus barrel to the Tempest 26.4 inch Archangel barrel to get the max damage range and extra bullet velocity. This combined with the monolithic will change the Grau into a beast in Warzone. So change these if you want to get the most out of the Grau. Up next is the Candid Hybrid sight for a 3.25 zoom scope and a reflex sight on this side. You can switch between them whenever you like depending on the situation. Next up is the 50 round mags, 20 more in a mag will do in Warzone. The 60 round is also great, but the 50 round option gives you some more ADS speed and mobility. And finally, the Cronin Sniper Elite for aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. Great for extra accuracy. This is actually a pretty solid Grau build, but you do need to switch the barrel and put a monolithic suppressor on it. Especially in this build where we use overkill and an MP7 on the side. The sight is not my favorite. If you want a scope with some range, use the VLK. It is the more superior option in my opinion. Overall, a fine build for Warzone. Now let's look at the MP7. I did not change anything on the MP7, because I don't think there are must use attachments for this weapon. The first attachment is the compensator for extra recoil control. Up next is the 5MW laser for hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. You do have a laser that can be seen, but it is not that visible in my opinion. Next up is the GI mini reflex, the best optic for an MP7 if you even want one. I would not because of the great iron side it already has, but if you do want one, choose the GI mini reflex. Up next is the Commando Foregrip for more recoil and aiming stability. Always a great attachment for any gun. And finally, the Stippled Grip Tape for extra ADS speed and sprint to fire speed as well. A fine attachment for any SMG. This MP7 is solid and easy to use. The recoil is manageable and it has great mobility. The range is not really there and not having an ammo attachment is not ideal as well. But overall, a good build that will do just fine in Warzone. So do I think you should buy this pack? It really depends on if you need it or not. If you are new to the game and want to have two good guns that look good as well, sure, buy it. You have something to work with in Warzone. If you just want some cool skins for your weapons, you can definitely buy them as well. I like the designs and having some purple tracer bullets shoot out my growl is nice as well. But overall, a pretty solid pack with some great items. My name is Exceptional and if you like this pack review, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video.